What is up, Karatics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles I never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Coil Voltic. So, this car is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from a Legendary Motors Pro website for only $150,000, which is a very, very good deal, especially in the current GTA economy. Now, over time, we did get a new variant of the Voltic with the Rocket Voltic that released in 2016. But again, in this video, we're going to be focusing on the regular one. Now, in terms of performance, this car is in the supercar class, and personally, I feel it should have been in sports. It has the lowest top speed in the supercar class of only 106 miles an hour, compared to the rest of the cars in the supercar class, which go at least 116 miles an hour, and most of them go over 120, so <laughs> this one is pretty far off. Now, in terms of handling and acceleration, it's pretty decent. That's definitely its main strength. And on those types of tracks, it's very comparable to sports car lap times like the Carbon Azair and the Verlier, but again, nowhere near anything in the supercar class. And the only one it can really beat in that class is the Bullet or on a track, which that's another extremely slow car. But, but anyways, in terms of what the Voltic is based on, it's primarily based on the original Tesla Roadster from 2008 mixed with the Lotus Elise. And it also has some elements from the Lotus Exige as well. And for those of you who didn't know, the original Tesla Roadster was made using a modified Lotus Elise chassis, so that's why they look proportionally very similar. Overall, it's a very cool car in GTA. Again, I just personally wish they would have put it in the sports car class so that it has some type of use. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the OG Coil Voltic. All right, Voltic. Okay, we got armor, brakes, bumpers, extreme arrow front bumper. Pretty nice. So this one looks more like the Lotus Elise, the original. And then this one looks a little more like the later models, kind of like bigger grills, a lot more aggressive. I like that. We'll do that. Engine, hood. So you got the vented hood stock. You can do carbon. Then you got a different vented hood here. Okay. I guess you could say this probably looks a bit closer to the Tesla Roadster, kind of. Um, but I do like this design a bit better, so we'll keep that. But continuing lights, do some Xenons. Plate. I do have a plate for this. <laughs> I put this on most of my electric cars. Right here. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, so respray. For this one, I'm thinking of doing uh, kind of a similar kind of candy red to what Elon launched into space, the original Tesla Roadster, which was kind of funny. Um, so <laughs> we're going to do like a nice reference to that. So we're going to do the candy red. I'm going to do the, I believe it's the Grace Red. Yeah, because the, or the, hmm, actually we'll do this one here. And then we'll do the Pearlescent Torino Red. It's a bit brighter in the Cabernet Red with the Torino Red. This one looks a bit, I think a bit closer. So we'll do that. A secondary color is your hood, and I believe that's it. I think that's the... I think if you choose a secondary spoiler, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, but the interior stitching is tied to the primary color, so it's just the hood, I guess. Okay, so we'll just make that match. We'll do the... Right here, perfect. Your crumblum goes on the hood. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Older 2013 cars. So here you have the no roof option, and then you have custom roof, which is carbon. So we're going to do no roof, just like the one that they launched into space. Plus this car in general, to me, looks a lot better without the roof. Uh, skirts, custom skirts, pretty much like an extension. Okay, very nice. Spoiler, so you have color-coded wing, and then you have carbon wing. I do like the carbon contrast back here, plus it matches the carbon section. Um, right at the top of the roof area, like kind of like bridge, and also the air vent, also carbon. There's some carbon elements on this car that it matches, so we'll do that. The Suspension. Driver. Lower that there. Oh, yeah, I gotta lower this all the way. Even then, it's still not low enough. <laughs> Wish it can go a tiny bit lower, but that's, that's fine. Wheels. So you have street. What we got here? 
Hmm. I think for this one, I'm going to do um, a simple, like, twin five-spoke. Because uh, I was thinking of a nice multi-spoke wheel, but I feel it's a bit too much for this car. So we'll go to the street category, and we'll do the... Which one is it? We'll do the Mercy Concaves. Um, I think these look really good on this car. They're a nice twin five-spoke with the concave, and I think it looks really good with the rest of the car. Um, especially when we paint them in black, and very, very nice. Nice transformation. Or maybe in gray. You know, I think the gray looks a bit better, actually. Kind of goes better with the red, I think. Yeah, we'll do the black steel. That looks really good. Okay, windows. I mean, oh, well, we don't have side glass anymore because the roof took it off, so... We just have the little rear glass panel back here. Um, I guess a light Your smoke. All right, done. Wow, it looks pretty good. I like it. Exit to ground. This thing, this little car looks adorable. <laughs> I like it. And those wheels give it a nice touch. They really do. All right, first person. Nice open top experience. Not a fan of the door panel situation. It looks completely wrong. It just looks like cut off and. That, but again, that's copy and paste 2013 interior. Can't expect much, but all right. Floor it. Got the vacuum cleaner 2000 exhaust note. <laughs> Obviously, that's an electric car. I get it. I know. I just find it funny. Top speed was immediately reached. So, you know, like about 100, 105, um, which is, you know, not very fast compared to most of the cars in the supercar class. Again, I, I still don't understand why they put this in the supercar class. Back then, I get it, you know, the car, supercars were a bit slower, but the Entity XF was a very quick car on a track. Um, this thing was nowhere near that, so I feel like they really should have put it in sports, especially since it was pretty much around the pace of some of the OG, you know, quick sports cars back then. So, I mean, it wouldn't have broken the sports car class back in 2013 either. But yeah, I mean, this car's strength is, of course, corner, and then boom, accelerate out of it. Corner, boom, accelerate out of it hard like that. That's, you know, the big strength of this car. If you have a track that's just that constantly over and over, turn, accelerate, turn, accelerate, just over and over again. Um, you can be pretty competitive with, like, the bottom five <laughs> cars in the supercar class, uh, but you're not going to be getting, you know, anywhere near, like, top 40. <laughs> uh, but... In the sports car class, though, you see that it would have been pretty decent there, um, you know, competitive with some of the slower cars in the sports class. But still, it's it's a fun car to drive around. It's 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 not boring. Um, and I don't know if it's all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. I actually don't know. Let's see. It's rear-wheel drive. Okay. Yeah, rear-wheel drive. Okay. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Let's pull over here and open up all the doors and stuff. Plus, it goes really fast in reverse. <laughs> Alright. This is probably, I think, maybe like the cheapest car you can use to do the reverse challenge. And for the free one of the free mode events. I think the fastest one for that is still the Cyclone. Uh, but, you know, it's a good alternative. Alright. I actually, I've never even, I've barely messed with this car in the game. So, I don't know if anything opens here. Oh, front trunk opens. Okay. Oh, okay, you got like all the batteries and stuff here. Um, very, very, very poor texture quality, but at least they put a little bit of effort into it to make it something that looks different, so I'll give them props for that. Plus, I like the way it opens. Very cool. Doors and stuff, at the interior there, you know, not anything too crazy, just typical kind of copied and pasted 9F interior. Um, overall, not a bad car. For 150000 in in-game, I think this is a fantastic deal. Um, and it's a little car you can have some fun with. And, you know, it's cheap and fully upgraded. You're like, what, maybe 250,000, 300,000 with some nice wheels. So, I mean, I don't I don't think it's anything too crazy and a very good value for sure. Again, I just really wish it was in a sports class. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want me to customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.